so I'll be flutered. Mm -hmm. This is our first vineyard today. This is Lou Estates, L E E U, which is Afrikaans for Lion. You can rent these beautiful cottages. There's a spa, there's dining, there's going to be a Michelin star Italian restaurant. The views of Franschuk. This was a person, but believe it or not, this is a sculpture statue by a French designer. There you go, nice talking point. Didn't have time to eat this morning, so just having a little snack now before any wine hits my stomach or I'll be flutered. So yeah, this is at Waterford, our absolute favourite. I've just tried the rosé so far and I've just had their Sauvignon Blanc which is incredible and I'm going to have their Chardonnay now and try their reds. They have chocolate tasting, things like that. Uh, we'll probably get a few bottles to bring home as well. The smaller glass, small out of the burgundy, oh, you might have noticed a few things in the, in the way that it tastes. It's pretty epic. Um, but the Chardonnay is made in a very different way, very even consistency in the grapes. Um, what the winemaker does is we'll take one quarter, put into brand new barrels, second, full, third and fourth. And we keep these barrels divided for a year. It's 
Emma tasting wine. I don't know the name of it. It's a red wine though. It's Grenache. Grenache. It's and I'm having some focaccia bread. Oh, there's Emma eating her <laughs> bread. <laughs> it could, it could. It's a very small little towel from here. Evan, um, he's our salon master and co-owner, but he's first and foremost been a winemaker and salon master. Yeah, we have to leg it to Lanzarac now, but I had the Kevin Arnold Shiraz with the masala chai chocolate. I think the cocoa's from Uganda. And then this is the Waterford Cabernet Sauvignon. And then this is their Heatherly with this melted. It's winter here, the depths of winter. And last year we were here, it was, um, we were inside with the fire, but my God, is it hot today. They're all very good. We're taking some bottles of the Sauvignon Blanc, the Chardonnay and the Grenache, because they were nice. These are also nice, but we actually don't even have time to decide because we're on to the next winery. Woohoo! is a giant book. I think there's some sort of ladies lunch going on. It's quite chatty in here. Adore the ceiling. That is a nice sink. Good morning. This is Sunday the 18th of August. It's about just coming up to 8 o'clock in the morning. Nobody's around really. And I'm in my pajamas so I don't really care. I'm going to bring my mat out here. I moved some sticks out of the way as well so the floor would be even for yoga. <laughs> Session done. That's the air, so cool and beautiful. Oh yeah, it's 
Sunday, as I said, we're going to Spear Wine Farm. I'm just going over to the mall here on the food market to get me some coffee. And um, I'm going over to try a pair of boots on that I saw on Cotton On yesterday. I got distracted and bought loads of lingerie, loads of negligee, loads of um, lingerie. <laughs> I really badly needed it though. So I'm going to try boots on today. Then we're going to head off. I got an iced latte in Vida y, ca y, y Café and they give you, hang on, a little 70% cocoa treat. That's a nice touch. these in the fridge since the wineries but just from experience from last year and this year this is a really good find from this year from Spear it's the 21 Gables Chenin Blanc uh, it's really really good um, this is excellent Waterford Chardonnay really nice that's also a Waterford lighter red one Grenache grape but they are some of the really good ones and we haven't been to Jordan's yet who also make really good wines but if you're looking for really good whites and I don't normally drink whites this is an excellent white this is also an excellent white and there's Sauvignon Blanc is also amazing there you go We like coming here for tradition and the views are just lovely. Well, tradition. I've only been here twice this year and last year. Having a glass of nine yards. Sorry for himself. Look how cute he is. Hi, pupper. Call all dogs puppers. He's making friends. Oh, he's looking up at you. He wants a sip of wine. We're on the other side of Jordan's now and this better be a fake alligator. They are. They're leaves. What would you do if he snapped the arm off you now? What would you do if he bit you? That's how they get you. This is so weird. 